I got zero plants. G'day, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kathy. For all my return visitors, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Now, before I get started with the video, I need to give a big shout out to my nephew, Lucian. Hi, Lucian. Happy birthday, darling. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you heaps and I will see you soon. So today, I'm going to show you my zero haul of plants. Now, I was watching Miro from Basic Plants, and if you guys don't know Miro, you are really missing out. I'm going to link his channel somewhere up here, as well as in my description box below. But he did a haul a few weeks ago, and he came up with this mathematical formula as to how many plants he received, and he came up with zero. <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. The way it works is, for example, I ordered six plants, or zero plants, I don't know. I don't know which one's right. Regardless, I ordered six plants, and I think it's been around, say, 50 days since I got some plants. If you divide 50 into six, it works out to, I think, 0 0.12. Now. 0.12 is closer to 0 than it is to 0 0.5 therefore I received zero plants <laughs> I love it I absolutely love this formula it makes me feel a lot less guilty about getting new plants and if you want to hide the plants from somebody else you can say well you know really I got zero plants and now Miro's actually tagged me to show my zero haul of plants, which is what today's video is. First off, I need to say thank you, Miro, very much for tagging me. I really do appreciate it. I think this is a wonderful and very fun tag, and I hope that a lot of people end up doing it. I will also be tagging a few people at the end of this video, so you should stick around for that. Now, in all seriousness, I did order some plants, and of course you're going to see them. They're not going to be <laughs> invisible. And I actually did record my unboxing a few weeks ago, so I'll now insert that footage and you'll get to see my reaction when I got my plants. Come here, honey. Come here, mommy. I don't know if you can see my puppy. She just wants a pet. What a sweetheart. Hmm. A couple of weeks ago, it was Father's Day, and I was really missing my dad. And it's also spring here, so you just want to go out and about. So I was a bit depressed that Sunday, and I decided that I deserved some retail therapy. And so I ordered some plants online from Nursery to You. Now, I have already hauled some plants from them previously. Well, actually, no. I hauled zero plants from them previously. Now I'm going to open the box and show you what I got. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I get really excited when I get you plants. I feel like a kid at Christmas. I just love them. Now, because I bought from them before, I know what this is. Last time I was a little baffled, but this is actually fertilizer, slow release fertilizer, which is really nice of them. And they've given me two sachets of this. And then there's my invoice or packing slip. And there's also instructions on how to look after these plants, which is really nice. Now, just like before, they're packed. I'm hoping you can see that. They're packed with Packing peanuts, I think that's what these are called. Oh man, I keep forgetting to get something to put all these packing peanuts in, so I'm going to make such a mess. Oh, here we go. Okay, so they've sticky taped the plants to the side, so I'm just going to remove that. So how they pack them is in bubble wrap. Some of the plants actually did come loose out of the bubble wrap. I will just 
open the bubble wrap and show you what I got. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, there is dirt everywhere, unfortunately. It's one thing I don't like, but what can you do, right? Oh, oh, this is the first one. And I think this one is called Peperomia Aluminium. I love this one. The colouring is quite different from the emerald or other ones and I just think it is stunning. It has a slight silver colour to it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And it's just a little baby, of course, but isn't it just lovely? Oh, so that's my first little baby. I actually don't know what this is. Now, with nursery to you, one thing I do know is that they give you free plants if you spend say a particular amount of money now I don't recognize this so I think this might be my bonus plant and I'll do some research and I'll then put it on the screen as to what it is but oh, I honestly don't care what it is it's a free plant who doesn't want free plants right but it's just adorable it's just a tiny little thing I honestly can't tell what it is hmm Whatever it is, it's welcome in my home. I did not order this. Now, I think this is also a bonus plant and it looks like a ivy to me. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, so cute. And then, oh, all the soil has gone with this one. And this is my Peperomia caparata ruby, I think. Oh. I have been wanting one of these for a while actually, so I'm very glad I got it. And it's just adorable, isn't it? Ah, oh, just love it. Wow, I really, the colors on these leaves are quite stunning, aren't they? Ah, oh, just love this one. Okay, next bunch. <laughs> now this is my Sansevieria Cylindrica still a baby obviously or maybe I should call it a Dracaena cylindrica I have been wanting a cylindrica for a while I'm a huge fan of Sansevierians I honestly think they are just so unique looking compared to most of the plants we have in our homes and once I've given it a little bit of time to acclimate I actually might put this one outside oh that is so gorgeous I love it Oh, oh, just stunning. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Oh, okay. I've got, oh, wow. How many did I get? <laughs> I don't know how many I got. Hmm, might be that Miro will disapprove that my mass was all wrong, but this is a frilly coleus. I don't know which variety it is, but I absolutely love coleuses and I'm hoping to get a few more once we're able to go to nurseries but I saw this one and I thought I have to have it isn't that just adorable oh such a cutie pie oh I love that and this is a Pilea Moon Valley oh wow oh these leaves they're actually quite textured and it actually has darker veining it's almost a reddish colour. Wow, that is just stunning. <laughs> really love this one. I don't know how difficult it will be to keep alive, but I will definitely do my best. Oh, wow. I just love the texture of the leaves. They're just so unique looking, aren't they? Isn't that just gorgeous? And the very last one is... Oh, wow. That's very generous cutting oh my god she's gorgeous <laughs> I have been after one of these for quite a while now this is a Maranta Lucanera I think it's called or red veined Maranta oh wow oh. and this is a very generous cutting isn't it and look at those roots very healthy Wow, that is just gorgeous. Oh, wow. That red veining is actually ridged on top of the leaf. So that's quite amazing. 
but this is just a beauty. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, wow. Wow, she is just stunning. I love her. I recently watched a video by Plant Mama Tatiana. Big shout out to Tatiana. I love her channel as well. And she just provided a care guide for her Maranta. So I will definitely be following her advice in relation to this one. But, oh, stunning. Okay, so I ordered six plants and I actually ended up with eight because I got two bonus plants. Now I will put all the prices of the plants on the screen, but in total I paid $90. $18 for shipping, which I think is really reasonable. Oh, so now I have all these new babies to look after. I'm actually glad I waited for spring. Even though the previous order I placed with Nursery to You, they're all doing fantastically, so I'm very happy with that. But it does concern me when I get plants during winter because they really do suffer. Now I have done some research as to how to care for most of these plants, if not all of them. However, I'm always open to suggestions, so I'll definitely take any tips or advice that you guys might have. Oh, I think I love them all <laughs> equally. To be honest, I'm probably most impressed with the Maranta, but that's probably because it is the largest as well. Yeah, I shouldn't tell the others, but... Oh, I think I really like this aluminium one. It is quite an unusual colour. But then I also like the red one as well. It is a stunning colour, isn't it? And then, of course, I've got my lovely Cylindrica. Oh, God, I don't know. I love all of them. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed my zero haul of plants. <laughs> Do let me know which ones you liked, which ones you didn't. I really do love hearing what people like and what they don't because I think we all have such different tastes, don't we? Now I'm going to tag a few people to show me their zero haul of plants. Now, of course, no one really has to do it if they don't want to, but I think it would be a lot of fun. First off, I want to tag Charlene from Plantain Charlene. If you guys don't know her, you are missing out. She is extremely funny and she has gorgeous plants. The second person I want to tag is Rachel from Rachel's Indoor Garden. Rachel is another Aussie from Melbourne like me and another newer YouTuber just like me. And she has lovely plants and she is so much fun. I'm sure you guys will love her. And the third person I want to tag is Emma Greenwood. Emma is in England. God, we're all scattered all over the world, actually. And she is such a beautiful soul. And you will love her plants, I promise you. So I tag all three of you to show me your zero haul of plants. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what you guys will come up with. And as always, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Until next time, take care guys. Bye. Every day, this is what I get. And so, and I loved the idea. <laughs> no. Now I'll insert the footage. Oh, damn it. I actually received the... I actually received my plant mail. I actually... Re <laughs> Zero haul.